Well, this this is it, the, the Helicron, right? Yes. Well, you have a video of this on your website, and I just thought, I thought this was the craziest thing I ever saw. Um, the, and this is the real deal. This is a, an actual vehicle built when? Built in 1932 in France. And did it ever go into production? Were there more of them, or was it another one-off? This is a one-off, although the, the gentleman that built it apparently intended to put it into production. Uh, in the 20s, the French were pretty, some of them were very convinced that the propulsion, the means of propulsion for the future was going to be propeller, not just for cars, but for airplanes and for buses and boats and everything. And part of their theory was there was no clutch, there was no transmission, there's going to be less wear and tear on the wheels, and it was going to be more efficient. Um, obviously, there was the theory and the reality of the noise <laughs> and the wind, and the wind and they could never get around. So, <laughs> so it's a... So it didn't pan out. So, it didn't pan out. So it's a wooden body on what sort of a chassis? It's a Austin 7 uh, car chassis, which has been turned around backwards. And then it steers in the back. And again, that's because all the airplane makers of that time, the, the airplanes were all tail draggers. They steered from the back. So uh, it's one thing for an airplane. How is that for a car? See, it doesn't work too well in a car because although rear steering gives you better control, it doesn't give you high speed stability. Uh -huh. And what they never thought of was the airplane takes off and it doesn't matter. They don't need high speed stability, but in a car, of course this car was not that fast anyway, but had it been fast, they would have had to do something about the rear steer. So what is the top speed on something like this? I would estimate 50 miles an hour after several minutes. <laughs> it takes a while to get there. Huh? takes a while to get there. So it's not yeah. much off the line either, I bet. It is not much off the line, no. We've taken it on a couple of tours and driven a couple of 50 mile tours with it. So, really? Yeah. 50 miles uh -huh. with it? Yep. How's it do on hills? Uh, it does not do well, and every time you see a hill, it's full throttle and hope you don't have to <laughs> slow down. Yeah, so uh, it's nice to know where you're going. It likes, it likes Florida very much. <laughs> nice, flat. <laughs> nice and flat, yeah. <laughs> so San Francisco would not be a happy place for it. <laughs> and it's in uh, the French racing blue. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's powering it? You it's, have a more modern engine in there now. Right, it's a Citron GS uh, 1.3 liter four-cylinder. And what would it have had originally, do you think? Probably an ABC Scorpion, which was a typical light aircraft engine of that era. You do run it. It does It does run. Can we take this one out? Oh, for oh, this sure. This would be so much fun. Yeah. Let's, let's take this one out and play with it. Yeah, it might be the end of your mustache. It will, it will be the end. Sorry, we're doing it at the end. It will be the end of my mustache. Let's do it. All right. Kiss the mustache goodbye. Yeah. has been an experience. What a day. The Lane Motor Museum is something you got to check out. Every car enthusiast will go nuts. Nashville, Tennessee, be there.